Away from Borno to Kaduna, where members of the House of Representatives have pledged to execute projects valid at 400 million naira for Tudumbiri community, which was bombed in error by the Nigerian army on the 3rd of December. Our correspondent Lupe Asom reports. There is a growing demand for victims of the error bombing in Tudumbiri to get justice. But beyond those demands, there are also significant developmental projects coming the way of the community and the survivors of the tragedy. The Northern Regional Caucus Forum in the National Assembly, as well as Federal House of Representative members, led by Al Hassan Dogua, visited to commiserate with the governor and the victims. They pledged to offer substantial support and embark on some critical projects that will set to the on the path of recovery. Our collective contribution as a Northern Regional Caucus is amounting to 45 million naira. We have also considered and agreed to also bring on ground some developmental projects ranging from the building of blocks of classrooms, building of maternity and hospital facilities in the affected community. We will also construct a befitting police outpost of that very ill-fated community. There are access roads that will be provided and all this is put to the tune of 400 million naira from the Federal House of Representatives. But Governor Obasani has not hidden his displeasure with existing security laws, and he emphasized the need for crucial amendments to conform with international standards. As we are speaking, there's no synergy between the federal security agencies and the state government. And that is a constitutional crisis we're facing in our own country. That is the reason why I'm calling on the National Assembly members to join the people of Kaduna State, and Kaduna State government in particular, in insisting that this investigation should be done within a time frame. The Nigerian Bar Association in Kaduna also visited, offering their help in ensuring that those found culpable after government's investigation are held accountable. Should you need our assistance in any way, especially at, as it has to do with legal representation, our members will make themselves available, even for free, just to ensure that justice is seen or done to the victims. These collaborative efforts among federal lawmakers, regional leaders and the government portrays a unified approach towards rebuilding and healing after the tragic incident. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.